But it's not clear. It's not clear. What about Eneida? Eneida, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to I, meet you. I, I, uh, I hear uh, um, it's a uh, low. Can you hear me now, Neida? Uh, better. Kind of. Okay. Better. It's um. It's it's it's. It's better than before. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Uh, Irene, can you hear me? Moises. Roberto Avilés. Okay. Anyways, well, like I was telling you. Uh, I am the substitute teacher only for today. You have another teacher, but I guess he had an emergency. So they called me <laughs> and here I am. Um, my name is Francisco and I live in Columbus. I'm 48 years old and this is what we do every day. I'm a leader. I teach in different and I teach different levels. You introduce yourself, please. Can I have a volunteer to introduce yourself? Mm, okay, teacher. Yes, Neida. My name is Eneida Vasquez. I study chemistry and pharmacy. Okay. I am work in a pharmaceutical company. Uh, I am working in a new project about uh, analyzers and um, or machines for laboratories and hospitals. Uh, I am divorced. I I am uh, 45 years old, and I hope to uh, to learn very very much in the in the in this level. Very good. Thank you, Neida. Good, good. Another volunteer, please. Ana Giron, thank you. Ah. <laughs> okay. Her name is Ana Giron. Uh, I'm an architect. I work in Seprovia. We work, uh, we have a um, Laboratory, the soil and material in Mary. I have a children. Uh, I am 15 years old. And I need to practice uh, more English. <laughs> good, very good. Nice. Thank you, Anna. Uh, who's next? Jose. Jose. Okay, Jose. Okay, my name is Jose. I am 23 years old. And I am single and I work as receptionist in the Cameron Hotel. I have worked in the Cameron since 2007. And I have that I learn uh, more English in this course. Good, very good. That's all. Nice. Is your office in Paseo General Escalón? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Where is your office? Where is your office located? In Salinitas. Ah, it's, it's located, yes, it's in Salinitas. In Salinitas. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's in Sonsonate, uh, Acajuca. Oh, and, and where do you live, Jose? 
I live in Sansonate on the street to Nahuizalco. Okay. Mm. Fine. Good. Very good. Thank you. Next one. You're welcome. Next one. Irene, Raul, Gabriela, Elisa. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Gabriela Santos. Yes, Gabriela. Okay, uh, my name is Gabriela Santos. I am 32 years old. I don't have children, but I have three dogs. Um, I'm working in St. Jacques, and I hope to learn uh, English, more English in this level, and practice my, my vocabulary. Very good, nice, thank you. Remember, practice makes perfect. Practice makes oh, okay. perfect. Good, very good, thank you. Next okay. time. Uh, is everybody, um, was everybody in the class before in the previous group? Or do we have new people today? Everybody was in the group before. I was in a different group. Oh, and they joined them? Yes, I changed uh, my schedule. Oh, okay. You're from Santana, Raul, right? Yes, exactly. You were my student, I think, in September, October? Yes, yes. In, I don't remember the... The, the level. The level. But it, it, you were my first teacher in this platform. Okay, good. Very good. <laughs> good, good to see you again. <laughs> good to see you again, too. Yeah, right now I'm only teaching from 9 to 10 p.m. But since the teacher had an emergency, they say, Francisco, can you take that class today? Let's go. All right, good. Um, anybody else? Anybody else wants to share your name, where you live, and where you work? Okay, teacher. Roberto, please. Yes, my name is Roberto. I am 31 years old. <clears throat> I am from San Miguel. And I'm working in the group of Compost Company. And I am in the, um, the per department of budget, and I am here for um, I want to to learn to speak English. Good, very That's good. Right. Good. So right now you are in San Miguel. Yes, I live. How is the weather right now? It's very hot. As usual. Yes. <laughs> as always. Yes, as always. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you, Roberto. Okay. Uh, someone else? Someone else? Elisa, Tony, Moises, Irene. Teacher. Yes, please. Good evening, everybody. I live in Santana. I work in a human resource in a company. It's uh, all NG. NGO. I have one song. I have one song. Okay. One children. No, one song is okay. One song. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so you. thank you. Me too. Nice to meet you. Um, anybody else? Thank you. Anybody else? Hello, teacher. Yes, Tony. Okay, teacher. I am Tony Amaya. I am 39 years old. I work in a foundation. I'm from Santa Ana. Um, I hope uh, I learn more English. Good, very good. Thank you, Tony. 
Okay, teacher. All right. Anybody nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. So let me ask you, why are you in this class? What is your objective? What is your goal? Somebody, why are you in this class? I, I am in this class because I, I need to improve my vocabulary. Okay, very good. Vocabulary, nice. Vocabulary is really, really important. What else? Do you guys see the chat? Please. Do you see the chat? Can you see the chat? Yes. Okay. Yes. What is that? Pronunciation. Okay, pronunciation. What else? Meaning. 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 Spelling. 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 How to use it. Mirroring. Part of grammar. Spelling. Good. Very good. Now, let me ask you. Uh, Jose mentioned that he wants to improve his vocabulary. Now, when we have new vocabulary, when we have new vocabulary, when you have a new word, these are the five things that you need to know about the new word. So, how many do we have? How many components did I just put in the chat? How many? Oh. How, how many do you see there? Five. Five. Five is correct. Now, when you're having a conversation, uh, from those five, you use three. Can you mention the three that you really use in a, in a conversation? Which three do you think are priority? Pronunciation. Pronunciation, yes. How to use it? How to use it? Part of, Part of grammar. Part of grammar. Okay, let, let, let me put it to you like this. Imagine that I'm having a conversation with Eneida. Blah, 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 blah. Which three do we use in a real conversation? Which three? Vocabulary. Okay, but from the five that I wrote there. So we have five different components. Which three? Do we use in a real conversation? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Greeting. Meaning. Meaning. Fluency. And okay. how to use it. Okay. Pronunciation. How to use it. And meaning. And fluency. And meaning. Meaning. And meaning. Meaning. Yes. So the spelling in the part of grammar is secondary. So once again, I'm having a conversation with an aide. In the conversation, we don't spell words. Do you spell words when you're having a conversation? No. No, no. you don't. Do you mention grammar when you're having a conversation? No. 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 So I don't say, oh, an aide, you're using adjectives. Or say, oh, an aide, that's a nice adverb. No, nobody speaks like that. So keep that in mind. When you have a new word, those are the five things you need to know. But from those five, three are priority. Pronunciation, meaning, and how to use it. 
And we clear on that. Are we clear? Yes. yes? All right, good. Now, what is another reason why you are in this class? So, for certain vocabulary, what skill do you want to improve? I want to improve my listening skills. Very good. Uh, because I know very, very structures of grammar, very words, but, uh, and I can express myself, but when I am listening, uh, it's a little bit difficult for me. Okay, good, good. Now, let me ask everybody, how do you practice listening at home? What do you do to practice listening? Somebody, anybody? <laughs> how do you practice listening? Um, watching Watch TV. In English. Watching TV, very good. What else? Listening to music. Listening to music. Exactly. Listening to music is very effective. Television is very effective too. Do you have other suggestions to practice your listening? Only music and television. And watch videos in YouTube. Good. YouTube is really, really nice to practice your listening. How do you say aprovechar in English? Good advantage. Very good. Raul, can you put it in the chat? Can you write it? Okay. So we have to take advantage of technology, especially because we pay extra. If you want internet, you pay extra. If you want cable television, you pay extra. Thank you, Raul. So Raul wrote, take advantage. Take advantage means aprovechar. So you have to take advantage of uh, technology, especially because you pay. Okay, um, what else? So Raul says he wants to improve listening. Jose says that he wants to expand his vocabulary. What about the others? What skill would you like to improve? Uh, no, you don't want to improve any skills? In my case, teacher, I consider that... Uh-huh. I'm listening. Listening and pronunciation. Who, who was talking? Moises. Yes. Okay, tell us, Moises. Yes, uh, I would like to. I would like to to know about the listening and practice. Okay, so you said listening, and what was the other one? Listening and pronunciation. Good pronunciation. Okay, how can you improve your pronunciation? How can a person... Uh, I would like to... I would like to, to, to be more fluent. Okay, good. And, and, and what is the secret to be more fluent and to improve pronunciation? Practice. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Practice <laughs> makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. You, you see the chat? Practice makes perfect. How do you say that in Spanish? Practice makes perfect. Have you heard that expression before? Practice makes perfect. Have you heard La Practica? Yes. Okay, so in English we say practice makes perfect. Okay, so Moises, he wants to improve pronunciation. 
Jose wants to improve his vocabulary. Uh, Raul wants to improve his listening. Anything else? Anything else? In my case, teacher. Yes. So, in my case, I consider that I need a um, part of grammar. Okay, good, good. Everybody's different. Um, the secret to improve grammar is reading. It's reading. Remember that when you read, you internalize structures. And when you internalize okay. something, you use it naturally. So you don't need a book, you don't need a teacher, you don't need tutorials. All you have to do is read in English and your grammar is going to be much better. Yes. Do you remember how many tenses we have in English? Do you remember how many tenses we have in English? Simple present, simple past, past continuous, blah, 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 blah. How many? I don't remember, teacher, how many. Right there. <laughs> Um, How many tenses? Uh, Four. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Ah, uh, twelve. Exactly. Uh, wow. What? <laughs> yes, there are twelve tenses in English. And let me tell you a secret. If you master the twelve tenses, your fluency is going to be much better. Let me give you an example. Mi mamá llamó y dice que no va a venir. How many tenses did I use there? Mi hermana llamó y dice que no va a venir. How many tenses did I use? Three. Three. Present. Past. 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 Present. And, and future. And future. And when you speak Spanish, you speak Spanish naturally, spontaneously. So English has to be the same. So I'm having a conversation and I say, look, my sister called and she says she's not coming. My sister called, that simple past, and she says, that simple present, she's not coming and that is future. So the same way you use Spanish naturally, uh, English has to be the same. So if you master the 12 tenses, your fluency is going to be much, much better. Do you remember the names of the tenses? Do you remember the names? Can you put them in the chat, the ones you remember? Present perfect. <laughs> Good, present perfect. What else? Present progressive. Yes, present progressive, simple present, simple past. Future. Future. Which future? Remember that we have three futures. We'll. Uh, okay, we have a simple future. Going to future continuous Continue. and future perfect, uh, and we also have future perfect continuous. So we have many. Okay, past participle. Do you see the word past participle in the chat? Do you past, see it? Past, when do you past participle is the verb? Have been. Okay, been is past participle. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you say no he comido in English? I have. I haven't. Eaten. I haven't eaten. Okay, so eaten. you say, you go like this. I haven't, haven't 
eating. Good, very good. I haven't eaten. Eating. You haven't eaten. Yes. So you go here. I haven't eaten. Eating. Yes. Now, eaten is the past participle of eat. What is the past tense of eat? Eight. 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 Exactly. And the past participle is eating. Yes. Now, do you remember in which scenarios we use past participle? Repeat, please. Do you remember in which scenarios do we use past participles? Present perfect is one, but what other occasions do we use past participles? Present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, passive voice, and many ugly things related to grammar. Do you need grammar for communication? Do you need grammar for communication? Yes, yes, yes because it's very important uh, 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 if you can to send mails, uh, you send letters, or, it's, it's very, very important for the communication in the exactly. work. Exactly, yes. Especially, like Eneida says, if your communication is going to be writing, your grammar is necessary. Yes. yes. Yeah. So once again, if you guys uh, are familiar with the 12 tenses, then things are going to be better. Now, let me ask you another question. What do you want? Do you want fluency or accuracy? Fluency. Fluency. Yes. Yeah. Fluency. Fluency. Accuracy comes after. Accuracy comes after. Let me give you an example. It's just an example. If I tell you my sister don't have children, is that correct? My sister no. don't have children. No. no, no. No, it's not correct. No. Why not? Because, because it's a, a third a person. Third person is a exactly. Doctor. Exactly. But did you understand my message? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the message was there. But it wasn't accurate. So that's why when you are learning English, you have to decide if you want fluency or accuracy. Right? Do you remember how you learned to speak Spanish? Did you take Spanish classes? No. 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 How did you learn? Naturally. Naturally. And what is naturally? What is naturally? Listening, repeat. Right. So right here. Remember that English has four macro skills. You write this here, macro, macro skills. Do you remember the name of the four macro skills? Listening, speaking, reading, reading, reading. writing, and writing. writing. So listen, speaking, reading, and writing. So you learn to speak Spanish, listen. So why am I telling you this? Your speaking depends on how much you if you only practice 25% here, your production is going to be only 25%. Let me ask you, how do you say good morning in Japanese? 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Why don't you know? <laughs> ¿Por qué no lo saben? Porque nunca lo han oído. Sí. Right. So English is exactly If you want to improve your speaking, you need to practice a lot of listening. Listening has a lot of benefits. So whenever you have the chance, watch television, listen to music, watch videos, tutorial, podcast, anything where you expose yourself to the language. And that's why listening is very, very important. Do you have any questions? Any questions or comments? No, teacher. No. What time do you guys go to sleep? Mm. 10 p.m., 11 p.m.? I usually go to sleep at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. is good. 10 p.m. is acceptable. Does anybody? 10 p.m. Good, good. That's yeah. nice. I go to sleep early too. I go to sleep early too. I sleep well. Yes. Okay, what about the others? What time do you go to sleep? 11? 12? No? Or you don't go to sleep? <laughs> You don't answer, I did. They never go to sleep. After the class, teacher. After the class. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay. I, I have wake up um, 4 p.m. A.M. A.M. Uh -huh. A.M. Is your office far from your house, Enrique? Yes. It's, uh, I, I live in, in Quisaltepeque. Okay. My office is in San Jacinto. The, tra the traffic is very uh, heavy. It's um, is is um, heavy, uh, heavy, yeah, heavy, heavy in the morning because uh, um, there are uh, many houses. <laughs> right. In, in Saltepeque. Yeah. Many houses. Okay. Sure. So if you have many houses, you have many cars. Yes. If you have many cars. Traffic is not nice. Yes. But that is San Salvador. Yeah. Okay. So listen, um, thank you very much for your time. Um, I apologize that I was looking for your class and I couldn't find it. And I'm going to say this in Spanish. Tengo una gran sensación, un gran presentimiento que ustedes son un grupo bastante bueno para trabajar. Y vamos a ver cuando coincidimos en el futuro. Okay. Thank, okay. You. Okay. Teacher. So, teacher. So, Thank you. So tomorrow you have your official teacher with you. Okay. Okay. Got it? okay. Thank you very much. You have a good night. Good night. Good night. You too, good night. teacher. Thank you, good teacher. Night. Thank you. See you later.